it is super easy to give up when tech goes wrong, when things don't go your way, when things don't go smoothly, especially when you are in video production. And if you're a YouTuber or if you're a business owner and you're doing business on YouTube and you're producing videos for YouTube or any other platform, I think where people get stuck is the production and the tech. And then they stop, they get frustrated and they give up their hands and they quit. And that would be the only thing that really goes wrong with tech is you giving up. So I wanna encourage you with a few things and hopefully give you some tips that will prevent some of those tech issues from happening or at least some quick fixes that you can do in order to keep going forward, which is the goal with your YouTube channel and your videos online, whether it's on your website, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, wherever it is. That's what we're gonna talk about in this video and hopefully encourage you to keep pushing forward because that's what we did to get to you today with this video um, I guess an hour after originally anticipated so here we are from the rooftop from the Pacific Coast joining you on YouTube So one of the things that happened today when we were on the roof, uh, a few things actually, one was wind noise, uh, the second is sun, so I'm coming back an hour after all of the tech challenges. Uh, the third was, not today, but it was another shoot, was microphone. Uh, the battery didn't work, so we replaced it with, we've rebought different um, microphones and lav mics that do not have any type of battery required. Boom, solution there. The issue today uh, filming from the rooftop was that we had a tripod that was too weak for the wind to withstand it and all of a sudden my new iPhone 11 almost went overboard and down the stairs from the rooftop and it's literally a week old iPhone 11 Pro Max. I'm so excited about it and it almost went it didn't caught it in time thank goodness but that was an issue and I thought okay so new new tripod and I went to prop it up and put the camera on it and it had no upper screw in the section that you screw in the camera so I was screwed because <laughs> I had no screw so that was an issue and then I thought all right well I have a million other tripods it seems some of the older tripods but then the older so I thought well I'll get the screw from another tripod and then these older tripods had different head attachments so there was no screw that I could just easily replace at any rate none of the other tripods could be replaced then I finally improvised so the word of today's video is improvise and I got a lighting tripod that was also new and not in use and it was the perfect length, uh, perfect sturdiness because it's got really good base and I used that to screw in the camera head. So that's how we were finally able to come to you live but I will admit it was not only frustrating where I was just coming up against problem after problem after problem and then each improvised solution was just not coming together. So the only other solution would have been well order a screw from Amazon, go to Home Depot, but right now all the stores are closed so I don't know that getting a screw is a high priority at all so one option was well I can just quit for the day and then come to you tomorrow but my commitment was getting videos done today which is what I'm doing forged forward and that's how my brain opened up and said ah lighting tripod boom solution so you can always use a different kind of tripod for your purpose uh, same thing microphone make sure you have at least two microphones when you go out filming and try not to get one that has a battery, you know, those lithium batteries that you have to replace. If you do, just have a spare battery. But I've been on video production shoots where even the spare battery was dead. So I now like to have a, a lab that is wired directly into my camera so that way I don't have to worry about that type of technical issue. So at the end of the day, try to think about all the ways that you can eliminate tech issues by preventing them and then if you do face them keep going forward it's not worth quitting 
The world needs to hear your message. The world needs to hear about your service, your business, your brand. Or perhaps you just entertain them and they need your entertainment, especially in times like this. So keep fo forging forward. Don't give up. Don't let tech get you down, whether it's in the post-production or it's in the pre-production or it's in the actual production phase. By the way, the other thing that I was facing is I've been behind the camera as director producer for clients for so long that now I'm sitting in front of the camera to share more wisdom and information and tips and hacks for video production with you on this brand new YouTube channel and I sat down to produce it and I started doing the same things that I tell my clients to do. I'm like, ah, it's so much easier being behind the camera than in front of it. But hopefully you'll forgive some of my flubs and flaws and you'll hit that like button, you'll hit that subscribe button and then that little notification bell when you hit that You'll get notified when I do random live shows. I have a lot of phenomenal friends that are in video production from Hollywood to uh, YouTube studios, and they've got an incredible amount of tips. And often I'll be either out and about or I'll be at an event and we say, hey, let's go live. And I'm going to do that throughout this year. So when you hit that notification bell, you'll be first to know, you'll get on the, on the call and you'll be able to ask questions of the experts live so we can actually coach you directly one-on-one -on -one during the live production. So be sure to hit that bell. And thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for being a subscriber, especially since this is a brand new YouTube channel starting all over in 2020. My first channel was in 2006. If you've been following me since then with my original channel. Wow, thank you. I'm honored to have you watching. And again, thank you for sharing. Aloha. Oh, I should mention, I'm Coach Deb. <laughs> for those of you who are just getting to know me, I'm Coach Deb. I've been doing video production and marketing since 2002 when the game was very, very different. I had my first YouTube channel in 2006. I've since started a brand new, this one that you're here, share this, because I want to share tips for business owners, brands, and influencers to help grow their business, attract more clients, get more likes, more leads, and more money at the end of the day. So I'm gonna share all of my wisdom from the past 18 years of doing video marketing with you. So whether you're starting a brand new channel or you've been in business for a while, or you've been a YouTube uh, influencer for a while, but you wanna up your game with business and scale your business, and this is the channel where you'll get those tips. So again, I'm, I'm Coach Deb, filming from the rooftop of the Pacific Coast. Thank you for watching, appreciate so much, aloha. Serenity now, serenity now. Now, what to do when you have tech problems when you're trying to produce your video. The issue today was the wind and the laptop, oh, I'm sorry, easily replaced. And it's not a real screw, it's just kind of this, it's almost, I don't know what you would call it, I guess I'll let a hardware geek tell me in the comments, but it's, it's the screw that has no head to it or no tail, it's just a screw that you screw in the camera top to the tripod.